Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a kick butt day today so far. So guys, today's video, we're going to be discussing the top five best brawlers in Showdown right now. You all know that we just recently got a balance change and we have some newcomers making the list and we have some older brawlers that are standing the test of time holding their spot on the top five. So hope you guys are pumped up. Let's jump right into the list. Alrighty guys, so there's a handful of videos that I love to do after every single balance change and this is definitely one of them. It's really good to know which brawlers are standing at the top of the most popular game mode in all of Brawl Stars. So much like any other top five that I like to do here on the channel, we're going to be starting off with number five and then making our way through the list all the way until number one. Now we're going to be announcing that brawler, then taking them into some gameplay so that we can switch it up, have some fun with that brawler and see how we can do. Now we're going to be starting off with number five and that brawler is... Tara, guys. Tara is another one of those brawlers that's standing the test of time. She's been so good in multiple different balance changes now, and it's really, really cool. I feel like she's a brawler that deserves it. She's very dynamic and special in this game. She's good on multiple different game modes, and Showdown is definitely one of them. So, guys, let's hop into some gameplay and see how we can do. We are sitting at 503 trophies, so we're risking losing that three trophies to go under 500 guys and I don't think that's gonna happen we're gonna try our best no teaming guys we made that pledge we're gonna try and keep that going as long as we possibly can um, and see how we can do without teaming so we're gonna be doing uh, playing somewhat passive staying out of the fight a little bit until the moment calls for it okay so none of that rushing middle anything like that we gotta see how we can do without all that crazy flashy stuff especially at this trophy count it gets really really tough Especially at this trophy count. And I, I don't know. Feast or Famine is definitely a good game mode to push your trophies up on, guys. If you're more of a um, passive brawler. Just because a lot of action is in the middle right away. And if you can kind of avoid that damage in the middle, you are left kind of with the cleanups. You know what I mean? Where a lot of stuff has already happened in the beginning. As you can see, two brawlers already died. And if you can get past that crazy part, you normally have one brawler that's incredibly overpowered like that bull that can clean up. That can do a lot of damage to everyone else. And you're just kind of chilling back. Just waiting for things to happen. Which is my type of playstyle. It's the way I like to play. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a Daryl down here somewhere. I'm almost certain. Alright, let's see if we can see someone through this wall. Okay, he's not over here. No one's died in a while. There goes the Mortis. We're just kind of banking on this bull to do a lot of our work for us. Okay, so there's a Phoenix Crow on the Pearl down here. Maybe we can crunch him. We'll see. Okay, kind of working together with this crow. But there's a lot of action going on right now. What's going to happen? People are dying. Okay, guys, so we got that to that point where if we die, we're not going to lose trophies, which is goal number one when you're playing passive. There's only three brawlers left. Can we get this primo? Okay, we got the primo. Now bull is left, but there's no way we can get the bull. But guys, taking second place. Tara is such a good brawler in Showdown. It's crazy, guys. If you have her and you want to push up trophies, push her up in Showdown right now. Very, very fun. Especially on Feast of Famine. You'll get easy, easy trophies on this game. Most guys, moving on to our number four brawler, and that is my boy Brock. Now, I wanted to place Brock a little bit higher on, the, on this list, but I got to looking at the maps in general. I feel like he's good on like three different maps, especially if there's a little bit more wide open space. And Feast of Famine is definitely one of those maps where he can thrive on but then if you get to like skull creek or stormy plains he starts to have a little bit of a hard time because there's a lot of corners a lot of walls that other brawlers can benefit and take him out very easily like tanks and lobbers and stuff like that so brock really good on thousand lakes um double trouble feast or famine game modes like that or um, maps like that but other than that i feel like he has a little bit more of a difficult time but on those maps he's incredibly good so guys let's see how we can do in this game Alrighty guys, hopping straight away into it, we'll see how we can do. Now we really need to play passive, especially if there's those brawlers like a Bull, a Tara, um, Poco, Spike, any brawlers like that can really push us away quite easily actually. So we need to be careful. So can we, can we keep antagonizing this bow here? We have splash damage on our side, so maybe we can do something. This is definitely not pa uh, playing passive. So we'll see, we'll see if we can not get sandwiched here. Okay, auto aiming right now guys. If we could pick up this bow. Okay, come on. One more shot. We're using our super on this. Ah, dang it, guys. We couldn't capitalize on the bow. He was very good at evading us. Okay, he's trying to team. They're teaming. 
Okay, we don't want to be a part of this right now, guys. There's too much stuff going down. Okay, is Jesse going to see us? There's a cold. Okay, we just want to play passive here. We have a couple teamers, and we can't team ourselves. Okay. Come on, guys. What can we do? What can we do? I think this is our only option. Play it safe like this. We almost had that bow, guys. I'm mad. I wish we would have been able to get that bow, and I, th I believe he's maxed. I think I saw that. So that brings up another challenge as well. Okay, guys. This, I'm telling you. I cannot stress this enough. Playing safe. Getting to that point where you're not going to lose trophies is so, so dang important. Try not to be super gung-ho, especially at this kind of trophy range. You gotta be careful. Okay, so we'll see. We probably didn't have to show ourselves just yet. But that poison is creeping in. We don't have much time until we have to start doing something. And that bow can see us if he's in the bushes. If he's within that range, I think it's like 10 tiles. Okay, I believe we're getting close to that spot now. Maybe we can burst down this Colt. Okay, we got the Colt. Two Elixir. Okay, let's see if Brock can do something. Dang it, guys. Okay, I think that's one trophy. Not too bad. One trophy? These were not two trophies. At least we're not losing trophies, guys. It feels pretty dang good. Let's hop into the next game. Here we go. Moving on to our third brawler, the third best brawler to play on the game mode showdown right now is none other than Dynamite. Guys, I feel like a lobber will always have a spot on the top five. He's just so dang useful on any of the showdown maps. If you think about it, on almost every single map, there's going to be a map with walls. Now, there are some brawlers that can counter him like a Mortis. However, he's not super, super prevalent, especially on every single map. Um, especially on like Feast or Family, you won't be seeing like a Mortis, a hard counter to Dynamite. Um, so I feel like he's essential on showdown very very good brawler to be playing on showdown for sure so guys hopping into it we're at 513 trophies so i'm not super worried um if we end up losing we're not going to lose 13 trophies so right okay guys so let's hop into the first game and see how we can do all right everybody hopping into it we'll see how we can do here now dynamite he's good on majority of maps but there are maps that he sometimes struggle on like um some of these long range maps like this so we'll see we'll see what we can do to this frank i'm sure we're not going to be able to kill him but we might be able to get our super. Okay, we're helping out the Frank by opening up boxes. But if we're able to get some damage on him, that'd be fantastic. Okay, we are being this pest. No one likes a dynamite that's just being annoying, you know? Okay, he's very, very low. But he has more movement speed. We'll just keep doing it. This is why I like Feast of Fam. There's only six brawlers. There's only five brawlers now. <laughs> Feast of Fam is such a good game mode to do some work on, guys. I'm telling you. Wait for this game mode. It's, it's the There's a reason why Feast of Fam is the most popular map on Showdown. Because it's a very good map. Okay. This Frank probably hates our guts. Okay. We're just kind of doing our thing here. We have no elixir. We're just kind of doing our thing. <laughs> okay. And it's so easy to keep your distance, especially when there's brawlers being played like Bulls and Daryls. They're so, like, they're pretty prevalent on showdown maps. You can keep your distance from them and just keep pestering them and do good amount of damage against them. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Dynamite made our tier list in the last one as well, so. Okay. Bull. This man is crazy. Okay, guys, look at that! He killed us in two shots at probably his max range. So, plus one trophies, not too bad. Let's hop into the next game. Here we go. Coming in at second place, the second best brawler in all of Showdown is none other than my boy Frank. He's finally got his time to shine. Frank has had a little bit of a hard time, I feel like, in the meta. When he was first introduced, he wasn't that crazy good. Maybe it was because he's a very unique brawler, kind of hard to get down, like, strategy-wise. But I feel like he's finally catching his stride. He's one of the best brawlers in the game right now, which is really, really cool. It's one of the brawlers I've been pulling for. The tank class, I want to see do good. And it's finally good to see one of those characters being good in this game. So, guys, let's Hop into this game and see how we can do. Alrighty, guys, hopping straight away into it. There's so many boxes. It's so tempting to go to the middle. And if you guys need a testament to how good Frank is, we literally spawn next to two two Franks. <laughs> There's so many Franks being played right now on multiple different game modes. He's so so good. It's the stun. It's the range. He's just a force to be reckoned with. He's a very very good brawler. Okay, we're just kind of poking our nose in here, trying to stir up the pot, see what we can get done. Okay, so we got one hit out of that. One hit out of that whole altercation. Okay. Bull's gonna walk right into our shot. 
All right, so we got Shelly. Shelly's a pretty hard counter to Frank, but we have our super now. And we have three elixir. We didn't really do a whole lot. We were just kind of doing our thing. Frank is just difficult to go against. He's got so much health, does so much damage, and now he has pretty decent range. Okay, we got some teamers. Okay, let's flash the super. The super's intimidating, guys. Let's flash the super. Tell him to get the heck away from us. We gotta play that outlasting game. We gotta get to at least five trophies. Okay, we're not at 500 trophies anymore with Frank. So if we can get to that first place, that'd be fantastic. And another thing that I really like about Frank and Showdown is he has that first place, um, kind of that first place capability where other brawlers, they're really good at avoiding damage. Say like Mortis, for example, he's very good at taking like second or third place, but Frank can be difficult or, um, Frank is good at getting that first place spot because he has that potential with his super and stuff. So that's always a great element in Showdown. You don't necessarily have to take first place every time. But if you have that capability, it's good to have. Okay, Crow. What you doing, man? We got a couple teamers. Got him. Okay, we, at least we got one out of that. Okay. We're going to go down, though, guys. Down, killed by the hands of the teamers. Okay, so third place. Plus four trophies. We are one off of 500. Maybe we'll get that on my free time. Maybe we'll get that in the next stream or something like that. But guys, let's move on to our number one best brawler for the Game Mode Showdown. Here we go. So jumping into the number one best brawler in all of Showdown, that is none other, and I'm sure you all could have guessed it, Spike, guys. Spike is an incredibly powerful brawler in the meta right now. His range plus his damage is incredibly good on every single one of the maps. He has capability to ricochet his shots around corners if you get lucky, but he's just an incredibly versatile brawler in Showdown and in general in the whole entire game. I feel like Spike is a force to be reckoned with in this meta by far. So guys, let's see how we can do with my boy. We have 503 trophies with him, so we'll see how we can do. Hopefully we don't lose four trophies. I'm crossing my fingers on that, guys. So let's hop into it and see if we can't pick up some trophies. Here we go. Alrighty, guys. So we found our 10 people. Now we have to play Spike a little bit different how we've been playing. He has that somewhat of that capability where he can rush the mid, but you have to be careful. He has overwhelming power. He can do a lot of damage, but he has like basically no health. He falls under the category of all the other lower health brawlers like Barley's, Ricochets, stuff like that. So you have to be super careful. He's got incredible range, incredible crowd control, incredible damage. He's just a very good brawler, but one area is lacking, and that is his health. So you have to keep your distance, use your range to your advantage, poke away at him, be annoying. Okay, so one brawler down. There's a lot of bulls being played, guys. Feast or Famine is the map to be playing bulls on, I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure there's something going down the middle. Guys, Feast of Famine is so good. It's so good. There's already three people dead. If you're trying to push up consistently with trophies, I cannot stress enough how good Showdown can be for you. Okay, we don't want to get sandwiched. We, we want to avoid that. We got a bow. Okay, we have our super if we need to heal up. Alright. Bow is trying to team. Okay, we got him. Three shots. It's insane, guys. So good. Spike is incredible. Okay, and it stinks that he's a legendary, because I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have him yet. But once you get him, guys, you will be loving it. Okay, okay, there's a Shelly in there. We gotta be careful. Okay, she's opening it up a little bit. Bo's mines are going off. Okay. It's just, I feel like range is such an important commodity in Brawl Stars. Plus, with the ability to hit Brawlers somewhat consistently with his ricochet shots, as you can see. It becomes so, so powerful. Just keeping them ticked down, annoying chip damage. Just doing your thing. Can we slow them down? Okay. I think we... We're fine. We're fine. I think we I think we gained one trophy out of that. So, guys. Not too shabby. That's 504 trophies. Spike is so, so good right now. He definitely deserves the number one spot. I don't want to put any other brawler in that spot. Because Spike is just incredibly overwhelming on all of the showdown maps. So, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this list. Again, leave in the comments down below what your list looks like. I really, really appreciate seeing that. So, guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. It really helps me out. And with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.